Now, firefighters still are on the scene of a five alarm blaze that tore through a Prince George's County apartment building under construction. The fire broke out in College Park, forcing the University of Maryland to cancel classes. The massive fire wreaking havoc on the neighborhood all day and into the evening. WJZ has been live on the scene all day and night. George Solis has a closer look at the damage and the impact it's had. George. Good evening, Vic. Firefighters still on scene here tonight, making sure that fire doesn't start up again. The estimated damage cause of all this fire is to be somewhere expected to be somewhere in the neighborhood of $40 million. Already, fire officials saying this is on track to be one of the greatest firefighting efforts in all of Prince George's County history. From high above, plumes of thick black smoke visible for miles as a massive fire tears through this apartment building under construction in College Park. The fifth alarm being sounded. The raging inferno first a threat to construction crews on scene at the Fuse 47 apartment building. Be advised, there seems to be people still in this building. We're working on, we're working on getting them out too as well. For hours, heavy smoke threatening more than just those on the scene off Berwyn House Road. Between the 200 plus firefighters and road closures, People's Day in College Park was significantly more than impacted. It kind of just looked as if there was fog everywhere. At one point, the blanket of smoke so bad the nearby University of Maryland campus was shut down early afternoon over concerns of air quality. It was really thick. It was um, it was a little hard to breathe as you got closer. I was in class on the far side of the building with a classroom that had no windows in it, and the smell was definitely palpable. Right across from the burning building, several seniors from the Spellman House were evacuated. WJZ there as they returned home hours later. How do you feel being back home after being evacuated? Uh, thankful to have a home to come to. By nightfall, firefighters contained the fire, but were still putting out hot spots. Efforts to fight the fire were made challenging because of the apartment's location and ongoing construction limitations. Sprinkler systems, fire doors, which would hold the fire in check and prevent it from spreading from one room to the other. Fears of the building collapse are also high, so no fire crews are being allowed in. While the cause is unknown, officials say the fire appears to have started in the upper floors and spread to the roof. And so far, there are three injuries to report, including two firefighters, one with an ankle injury, the other taken to the hospital for overexertion. One woman reportedly unable to breathe from that thick smoke. Live tonight in College Park, George Solis, WJZ Eyewitness News. George, thank you. And fire officials say the firefight will continue throughout tonight and into tomorrow morning.